I'm Keelan Ann, and right now we are going to do my review for the novel by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, House of Night, um, the entire series for right now, as far as I've read. And I've read almost all of the books and not all the side books just yet. I have to say, I I really like PC Cast's vampires. Um, why do I like her vampires? Because they're unique, but they're not out of character. See, I didn't like Twilight because Twilight was an out of character vampire. Glitterly, glittery, sparkly in the sun, um, vegetarians all the time. It was really gross. It made me want to puke. Thank God for authors like Anne Rice and many others that were able to help feed my need for a real vampire. Now, PC Cast, she does have a twist on vampirism, but she doesn't stray too far away, and that is the thing that's actually really nice. And the other part that's actually really nice about it is her, her mythology with the vampires is actually really close to being well, very accurate for certain vampire-based myths. Um, a lot of the times, a lot of myths you get about vampires actually doesn't come from vampires. It, it comes from this creature called a revenant. Now, revenants were made, um, sometimes it was a curse, somebody else could pass on to somebody else. It came down to, I believe I have a vlog about revenants somewhere, you can watch that. but. So a revenant isn't exactly a vampire, but it is a vampire in a sense that it has some similar abilities that you attribute nowadays to what vampires can do. So she has this one class of vampires that's more revenant than vampire, and then she has her vampire vampires, the red vampires, the ones that are blood-sucking, can't come out during sunlight, um, burned to death in the sun vampires, and that is awesome. Um, the battles that Zoe and Stevie Ray and the group of friends all have to go through are... It's great because of the mythology that she includes behind that. That, you know, even though it's a current time base, um, it, they mention current movies, current actors, just things that we know about already, current events, and she twists them. Certain actors now are considered vampires because that's what they are in her in her in her series. Um, the when she really started getting into like the mythology stuff with Nyx and some of the other like islands and the I'm not gonna try to I'm trying not to spoil here because it's such a good series. In fact, it's such a good series. I really think that if you haven't read it, you need to go actually to Barnes and Noble or your library and pick up a copy immediately um, because the series is still going um, and she's done a few like spin-off short story well novellas to go with it um, her website is great her fan page is amazing her daughter runs the fan page every once in a while and that's a lot of fun I would definitely check it out once again it's the house of night by PC cast and her daughter Kristen cast and I'm hoping that they're going to be making a movie. If they make a movie, please, please, please don't go Twilight on me. It's going to be really terrible. I probably won't even watch it if it goes that bad. Because I'm not a big fan of the whole screaming girls with... Because a guy took off his shirt. If there's a girl in this world that has not seen a guy with a shirt off, she should probably just go die. Not really. I should probably edit that out. But I'm not going to. But the thing is, is I don't want fangirls. I want to be able to go to a movie to see it because it was a good book. Um, not all books become great movies. Sometimes the movies suck to the point of disappointment. But PC Cast and Kristen Cast have reassured everybody several times that this is going to be a good thing, and I'm hoping that they're right. Um, other than that, definitely on my books to read list. Um, I'm still currently working on one of them. I'm not going to say which one because I don't want people to know how far I am because I haven't really given much 
about the book series in this video. And it's only because I really don't want to ruin it for anybody, and I do tend to spoil a lot. Um, but the series is so good. Stevie Ray is probably one of my favorite characters um, because of her struggles. I don't know why, but I always found Zoe's struggles to be, oh, you're kind of a little bit whiny for a chosen one. And when Stevie Ray started going through her stuff, it just felt so much more personal of, you know, she had such a good life and then it crashed. And then she had to make the best of what she had. And, and she had to prove something. She always had to prove something because not everybody feels they can always trust her because she's new, she's different, she's something they don't understand. And her love life, I think it beats out Zoe's any day. But that's just my thoughts on it. And I just really, I'm a big Zoe fan. So go check out the book. And let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and put in the comments if you want me to read anything else. Have a great night.